Good morning and welcome to day 16 in our August daily vlog. We have just packed up. Stephen is just leaving. Everyone else is in the car. We have packed up the car van. It's half past nine. We are finished. We are off. We are going home. Well, actually, we're not going home today. We are doing a bit of a road trip halfway, staying in a hotel tonight. I best go because everyone is in the car waiting for me. We've had an amazing time. I'll talk more about it. Maybe later, maybe tomorrow. Anyway, let's go. We've got about two hours to drive. We all in? Yeah. Oh, watch your toes. <laughs> oh, we've had to take a huge detour to get um, a welcome to Cornwall sign, you know, because I'm doing this UK county challenge. There's a welcome to Cornwall sign on like the A30, which is like the major, like, it's kind of like a motorway, but like a major road through Cornwall. But uh, it's kind of impossible to just kind of stop and get there. So we've had to come like back roads and look, we've got a welcome to Devon sign there. I was just trying to, I was like, oh, welcome to Devon sign. There must be like a welcome to Cornwall sign on the other side. And there is, it is just down there. So I am waiting for Stephen. Oh, this thing's going to run me over. I'm waiting for Stephen to get out of the car so we can get pictures. I want a picture of every every county got it mission accomplished onwards to pizza hut everything that has been done late but we have had a crazy crazy journey to um to this hotel I will I'll tell you about it in a minute but it's nine o'clock now <laughs> we've not been here that long because they've just had a bath me and Stephen are just wandering down to collect um we're staying in Travel Lodge in Worcester and there's a pizza express just oh, I haven't told you about the whole pizza oh right we're gonna go and get pizza now when we've had pizza I'll tell you about it it's been a kind of a disastrous day to be honest. There's the travel lodge and there's Pizza Express. We got some pizzas. We're a long way down the corridor and we can hear these children. Very loud. We're so loud. Oh, they're not like, I thought they just having fun. They're not, like screaming. Oh, I thank oh. you. Does this make the day looks day? delicious after the day we've had. What is it? Padana? No. Yeah. Vegan Padana. We've had a sharing thing of um, those ones before, though. It is. <laughs> what time is it? Like quarter past ten or something? The kids are literally just getting to bed. They've just got into bed. Now, let me explain the day. It's been. Oh, my goodness. So, I booked, we were staying in Newquay, we were checking out today, no problem, <laughs> we checked out at like quarter to ten, and the plan was to go to La Really Fancy Pizza Hut, yeah, La Really Fancy Pizza Hut, so we were driving to Taunton, which we thought was however long away it was, not that far, to Taunton Pizza Hut. It ended up being that that journey took us from quarter to ten till two o'clock to do. When we arrived in Taunton at the Pizza Hut for our lunch, which was like two hours, it was like a two hour longer journey, it was double the time. When we arrived there, it was a Pizza Hut delivery. And like what we wanted was like, you know, like the salad and the, uh, the buffet and everything. So we couldn't get that, so we're like, well, where's the next one? There wasn't another one for like another hour and 
20 minutes which by that time the buffet would be over and like we'd already been driving and so we were like well, what should we do so we found we just went to this brewer's fair for lunch it was like in out get food <laughs> and go so we stopped like we were, what 40 minutes or something no it was like a 30 minute we pulled up we went in and there was a 30 minute wait on food and stuff it was just honestly like oh one of those days and then anyway so we had our food no problem got back in the car we put on the thing too because our hotel that we're staying in tonight we're staying in Worcester and that should have been I think like an hour an hour ten minutes drive or something from where we were four hours <laughs> it's taken and we've like deliberately avoided the motorways because the motorways were just rammed like completely just back to back to back I think it's just a thing with Cornwall in the summer that that is just what happens and um, when we were driving in we saw the traffic going out we're like whoa <laughs> that's some bad traffic so it's taken we got in the car at quarter to ten this morning or like half past nine when we got half past nine this morning we <laughs> stopped off for only maybe we were probably an hour an hour having food we arrived at our hotel at seven o'clock so we've like eight hours that was, that was just like just like that straight through we just like one little stop um with the kids like the kids honestly they've been they've been really quite good at times throughout the journey i was like ah but in fairness to them it's a long but last time in the car i think it's the longest well it's not i think it definitely is the longest i've ever driven it's like eight hours driving today crazy just absolutely crazy i've never been so happy to see a hotel i'm sure i have when i was traveling actually <laughs> but i'm just so happy to see this hotel and just we've just like in my head i thought we were going to be here by like half past three like we should have been here but I was like oh we can just like have a nice afternoon I'll edit the vlog because as you will know by now like the vlog didn't go up today because I haven't finished editing it because like yesterday's vlog um yeah I thought I could just we could just relax in the hotel because we'd watch a bit of telly or whatever and we'd I'd edit the vlog maybe go for a little explore oh not at all we arrived <laughs> anyway whatever um longest road trip ever we are gonna go to bed now we've got breakfast in the morning and then we're gonna shoot home we're gonna do a little stop off on the way but we're gonna go home tomorrow but for now i'm gonna go to bed after the longest day's driving i have ever ever done let me actually what is the longest drive you've ever done in a day i'll be interested to know but anyway yeah thank you so much for watching today and i will see you tomorrow Bye bye.